First, oil prices, stocks and oil. Oil and stocks, they've been linked for the most part virtually every day this year. And until there's more clarity on production levels, out of OPEC especially, and more clarity on prices, chances are stock prices will ride the wave of oil until they don't. Meantime, the low oil price and the possibility it could fall more is pressuring U.S. exploration and production companies with high debt. Listen to Again Capital's John Kilduff. Well, I'm going to piggyback on a report from Deloitte uh, just recently this week that said 75 percent bankruptcy, uh, restructuring of debt at, at the least, uh, or, or out and out windups at, at the worst. Next, fears of a global recession. Growth continues to slow down globally. Uh, I think there's still further slowdown to come in China, but now also the advanced economies including the U.S., are slowing down. China is growing, but at the slowest rate in a generation. Japan is dead in the water. Europe's growth is spotty. Strong some places, weak in others. Which brings us to the U.S. The economic data points are a mixed bag. Fourth quarter GDP revised up today, but up to just 1 percent. That's still down sharply from mid-2015. Consumers didn't spend at the end of last year, but January's consumer spending number was up more than expected, half of 1 percent. Consumer sentiment slipped a bit in February, but it was higher than previously thought. So what will the world's central banks do? That's the third enduring theme of 2016. And here, to coin a word, the bankers are not just uncoordinated, they are discoordinated. China, Japan, and the European Central Bank are pumping money into the system. The Federal Reserve here in the U.S. wants to siphon it off ever so gradually. The great rate debate will persist through the year. This will, I think, be dawn on people that the old game by the central banks could stimulate demand on their own is over. I watched him repeat himself five times. And finally, theme number four, the U.S. presidential election. It will hang over the economy and the mystified global markets like a Beijing smog. Could it choke U.S. growth or stifle stock prices? You bet it could. He doesn't know how to tell the truth.